Hello, gents and ladies. Welcome to Ducati Multistrada 1200S. Another review, another day, another ride. So I've been on Multistrada 1200S. Really a gem of a bike. Absolutely wicked. I I'd call it as a mental bike. By the looks of it, it is killing. It does make you go for that kill. It actually has that kill with the feel, the power, and all the responses that it is. It's just like a human body. It's so flexible. Even on the motorway, I just touched 150 miles. Um, that's sixth gear, 8,000 8, RPM, and it's smooth. It is just smooth. Although I did have to duck behind the screen, which is not as tall as you'd expect it to be. On some of the models, it's adjustable, and I think even this should be adjustable. Well, I didn't try it yet, but besides that, it is a technological, marvelously done masterpiece of a motorcycle. So let me show you, this bike doesn't require a key to start with. The only thing you can do with the key is just to fill in. Other than that, the key is not good and you just have to bring the key closer to the bike for it to start. So the key is in my hand. It's nowhere to be used for the ignition or switching on the bike. But here's the key. It goes into my pocket. Done. Now, to start the bike, see the magic. Although the gears as well, like all the buttons and everything, is totally different as well. So that's the kill switch as well. So if I pull it and pull it bang on, you can see the engine going on. So. If you put it back on, up, slide up, it'll get to the power. All the dial is pretty much detailed. As you can see, everything on the dials has a very different view to it, like an old Ducati sports bike. So you've got the gears. You've got the gear showing up here. You've got the total distance that's been done. The engine temperature, what's the time right now? Normal speedometer, the rev meter, it's all digital. You've got different modes here. So it's 600 miles to the service. Then you've got the setup that you can select. So it's on touring right now. You've got four modes, spot and touring, which give you 150 horsepower. The rest two are restricted. So you can browse through and get down to urban, enduro, spot. I'll pull it on spot, which leaves me with 150 horsepower. And On the top, otherwise, you've got the ABS. Once the bike is on, the ABS goes off. Normal fuel in, requiring fuel. Neutral, high beam, uh, engine oil, the normal service oil change. Uh, let's hear the sound. It is indeed a good sound. So that's something more like a Ducati that you're listening to right now. Braking wise, this is spot on. It's very, very good. Although you do sit quite high on this bike because that's the way it is meant. It's a adventure tutor, sports tutor, urban tutor, kind of a motorway, kind of city, kind of a mixed bike. It doesn't make you feel that bulky on the front, very centralized weight. The CG of the bike is very low. So even when you're actually going inside and outside the curves, you'd feel that the feel on the bike is very balanced. You, you don't feel an inch out of your control which is absolutely amazing uh, getting on to the disc brakes 
their special Ducati safety pack as they come up as on the mention on the bike itself they're pretty damn sharp I've been on the motorway doing 100 miles and just slowing down for the car in the front or any traffic it just leaves you in full control you don't feel like as if it's going to go out of your way or even if you have to sharp brake it it's amazingly good it's sharp it's very pinpoint braking uh, looks wise as I said it is a killer it does make you go for that kill that beak in the front the bird the bird eye nose or the eyes and the nose of a bird is actually a very good shape I'd say it's an ultimate design very perfect done to perfection uh, handling of the bike as I said it's inch inch perfect every single thing control balance everything makes you fully control of the in the full control of the bike seating is a bit higher is definitely a bit higher than the normal and regular bikes so if you're not a tall person it is it can get a bit difficult to have the feel and the control of the bike while putting it on the stand off the stand getting on in traffic but it is balanced so even if you're touching your feet on one side you'd find it to be fairly very comfortable to get on with um, I think overall a very good package but at the price tag that it comes with I think it has a direct competition with the other big sports tourers as well and the adventure bikes obviously in the category of BMW um, KTM Kawasaki's the versus thousand so they, they are direct competition to this bike but again this is something which has been designed to perfection uh, you've got little boxes here for your little stuff that you might just want to keep in uh, and you've got a fuse here so all the fuse sets for all the electricals and everything goes on this side so on the left panel is the fuse side on the right hand side is a little small holder panel plastic push box um, so yeah overall very decent and very good good bike on the feel of it it is solidly done very solid the exhausts I mean the chrome on the bike isn't a chrome it's just a silver model though but the overall feel of the engine is very smooth I mean there are already guys especially the XPHP guy uh, the Indian lad who's touring Australia right now is doing the tour for 20,000 kilometers but on this bike it is absolutely smooth I think you could go endless but only on a good not only on a good terrain but even on the terrains which are like rough it would sail you through but I don't know about the reliability in terms of on the world tour people doing it on the world tour but otherwise it is a very solid good bike enough said um, time to head back for another ride and enjoy the Ducati Multistrada 1200S thanks guys for listening I'll cover up the next one soon cheers bye bye